Look how high I can jump now. Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we went through the uh, item world command attack. I keep forgetting the name of that. <laughs> and in between episodes, I did a bit of item duplicating. The culmination of which has led to Adele completely maxing out his aptitudes. 125% above normal is the cap. 25% from reincarnation or for generic units from being the highest class. And 100 more percent from killing innocent or killing dropouts and uh, the class president. That being said, I have also duplicated a whole bunch of my uh, one punches and gotten this set of innocence on almost all of them. I only have a few more duplicates to make. I also managed to uh, get this fencer to level 500 for Mao since he is not primarily a fist user. That being said, that is not the reason I have decided to record tonight. The reason I have decided to record tonight was that it is time to go over dual stat specialists. Now, for this to work, you're going to need a mediator, preferably level 100, although lower levels will be fine, and a coach and gladiator. There are other combinations of innocence that will work, but this is what I'm going to use. Uh, future me, you can put that up on the screen now, the other combinations. Alright, so, we are going to enter the item world. Let's do it. There's our coach. Alright, carry on yeah. me. Play the music if you must, I don't know. Okay, now that we are in Innocent Town, you will notice my, uh, my gladiator and coach over there, uh, being very intimate with each other. <laughs> Let's talk to the mediator and see what's up. Oh no. <laughs> that doesn't sound like my kind of wedding. We got a sp Sprinter, along with some very English text. Uh, not really sure what to say about that. Not the best level in the world. Uh, the level will be higher if you use a high rank item and lower if you use a low rank item, but as you can see, it's uh, not that much higher. At most, it'll save you like six or seven rounds of item duplicating. Now, dual stat innocence. They do not have the same effect on your stats as the single stat innocents do. Namely, when you kill an item general or an item king or an item god, the stats of the item will not increase from having a dual stat specialist. They are simply there to economize on space when you are boosting your items after the fact. 
So level up with single stat innocence, then switch over to dual stat. Now, during my uh, failed take of this recording, uh, my capture card is derping out again, I managed to encounter the uh, illegal ticket vendor who sold me a bunch of tickets, of course. There's like 12 of them. There are two ticket vendors in the item world. Uh, one of them is a death with the title of Rot Shop, and I don't know what the other type. I don't know what the other vendor looks like. But there are two of them, and once you have killed them and taken out all of the pirates, you will have all, I believe, 43 item tickets. That being said, that is all I really wanted to say here, and. In between episodes, I am probably going to be duplicating that sprinter a whole bunch of times. And I am also going to be leveling up Rutile's aptitudes now that Adele is fully maxed out. Okay, that's the plan. I'll see you guys later in the X Dimension. Oh, ha, 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 ha.